we're just talking about the hydraulics and what's included on the AGT as standard uh, in Australia. Um, so they're very high spec with their hydraulics. You can see here the control valve for it. There's a four spool control valve on this side. There's three on that side. There's one they're not actually used. That's a spare. It's a single acting valve to operate the uh, optional engine end linkage if ever you did decide to add that. Um, but uh, yeah, seven control valves is, uh, is an insane amount of hydraulics on a tractor of this size. I just don't know of any other tractor that would have anywhere near that as standard, especially. Uh, so yeah, they're a very high spec tractor. But, um, so I just want to explain what that's all about. Uh, one of those is for your linkage, obviously. Uh, you raise and lower in the linkage, so you've got, it's a four position valve, you've got that way to raise it, that way to um, power down, and then all the way up there to, to float it. Um, and in the middle there, neutral to hold it. So you've got double acting cylinders for the linkage control around the back here and uh, so you've got down pressure on your linkage so you can push down there with a, for a ripper tine or grader blade or with the agulator four in one bucket uh, even just when you're changing implements it's handy because you unhitch the, the quick hitch there and you don't have to stand on the arms to get it to, to go down you just use the down pressure to, to push it down so that's that's the first control valve there uh, we've got hydraulic levelling which is uh, operates this cylinder here so most tractors would have a turnbuckle like on this side here a manually adjustable uh, leveling block so usually they have a fixed one on one side and, and a turnbuckle on the other so um, we've got you know an adjustable one on that side manually adjustable and this side is the hydraulic cylinder it's got a check valve on it it's also got adjustable uh, flow restrictors on there for the raise and lower so depending what implement you've got on there, uh, you might want to slow that down or speed it up. You can, you can choose the speed that it operates at. With all these hydraulics, because they're manual control valves, if you open that, that's full speed. But you can just pull it slowly to make it operate at, you know, and vary the speed of it. But, um, and same with that levelling block, There's, you know, that's full speed or you can just go slowly with it if you want to. But uh, sometimes when you're operating it you just want to be able to you know, hit the lever and know that it's not going to go too fast so that's why you've got the adjustment down there as well so you can set that maximum speed so um, uh, that's what that's about uh, this one here is coloured red for the plug-in remote so if you go around the back there there are four sets of plug-in remotes two on this side two over that side so you can see all the different colours there so those other three ones are these ones here so uh, three double acting sets there all also with float so you've got power one way power the other and a float position so all of those have have a fourth position float uh, this one over here doesn't have the fourth position float it's just a double acting valve the linkage has the has the float uh, and the leveling block again doesn't have a float position doesn't need one so um, yeah, very high spec there. Also, you've got flow restrictors for your linkage drop rate. So when you hit that in the down pressure, depending on the weight of the implement, it might drop too quickly. You can always feather it down slowly with that, but rather than operate that precisely, you can screw this in to restrict the, uh, the drop speed. And likewise, when you go to raise the implement with full revs, you go like that and it'll lift uh, you know quite quickly you can restrict that raise speed with that one by screwing that one in uh, if you go around the back here also um, as standard on the tractor is the hydraulic top link uh, it's plugged into the uh, into the blue remote coupling over there and uh, it also comes standard with that flow restrictor there so for most implements you'll leave that fully open and it'll operate as fast as as it can uh, but for some implements, for example, the forklift, if you've got an, uh, a pallet up two metres in the air, you can imagine a little bit of movement on this cylinder means a lot of movement up on the, on the end of the forklift mast. So you want to slow it right down. So you'd screw it, you know, almost all the way in. You can actually close it off and then it won't even move at all. So for a transport safety lock, you can screw that right in. Uh, 
or you just crack it open just a little bit and that would be your, your very slow uh, speed adjustment for the forklift or you wind it open faster for the others for the other implements uh, the couplings on these tractors are self-releasing couplings it makes it very easy to uh, to change couplings so um, you, you just got to pull on these and out they come right? and to put it back in just push it back in so uh, if you unhook an implement and you accidentally forget to unhook your hoses and you drive away they just self-release themselves so you're not going to damage anything you, like uh, with a normal tractor where you've got to push the collar back most tractors of this size you have to do that um, you, you damage hoses hoses or fittings or, or part of the tractor whereas these they just they just pull out and they just push in